Notice that in a lot of the SFMA breakouts, um, eventually you'll test rolling. So I'm going to show you each of the rolling patterns that um, you look at with the SFMA. The goal of these is you want to be able to see disassociation between the upper and lower extremity depending on what body part is moving. Okay? I will go over the lower body rolling first. So with that, I lie completely outstretched, my arms in mass flexion, my legs mass extension. If I'm going to do upper body or lower body rolling with the flexion component first, so supine to prone, think about performing like almost D1 flexion. I lift my leg up like this and I reach across this way, my arms staying completely relaxed. So from here up, nothing moves. If I want to do prone to supine rolling with my legs, I do this. So I roll, I start on prone, and I kick my leg back, reaching across. Okay? So it looks like this. Basically, flex my knee and reach across that way to, to get me to supine. For upper body rolling, these are a lot more challenging. But what you will see is it's a combination of the arm and the neck moving to create the rolling pattern. So if I'm going to go supine to prone, my arm reaches across this way, across my body, and my neck goes into flexion, chin to chest and towards my armpit. The cue you want to give is you want the forehead to touch first. So I'm here, reach across, lift my neck, roll, and my forehead hits the ground first. If I'm going to do prone to supine, it's almost the exact opposite pattern. Think you're going to do D2 extension and the eyes follow the hand. So that creates the rotation necessary of the cervical spine to, to elicit the rolling pattern. So it looks like this. And again. And that is segmental rolling.